Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video for my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using the Wild Meadow stamp set for Mama Elephant. And I'm going to be doing some watercoloring with watercolor markers. And so I'm using Bristol paper. Bristol paper is magical paper when it comes to watercolor markers. It allows the color to flow and you get a really great blend. So if you're having trouble with your watercolor markers, whether they're Ziggs or the Arteza markers I'm using today, or even your Tombow markers, if you're having issues getting those to blend onto some watercolor paper or any other surface, you might try Bristol paper from Strathmore. It works beautifully. I'm stamping the really large border image in VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and I'm going to stamp it twice so that I have a really solid impression. This is going to make the lines even more solid and more black, and it's going to give me some really defined edges for when I start painting. I'm planning to cut out this flower area with a large circle die, and because of that, I know I'll have areas on, on the corners that won't be touched, that won't even be used. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the greeting I plan to use while I have the stamp set out and while I have my Misty Stamp Positioning Tool out. Just using that same Onyx Black ink from VersaFine, and I'm stamping that down into the corner of my cardstock here. I've taped down the Bristol paper to a hard board, and this is going to keep it completely flat while I'm painting. And I'm also going to mark out exactly where I want the circle to be. I'm going to take a pencil and kind of sketch out a really rough outline around this circle die, giving it plenty of space on the outside. And this is going to make it so that I don't have to paint every single area of this border piece when I'm just going to be cutting it off. So I'm going to be using some Arteza watercolor markers like I mentioned before, and I'm going to be painting in layers. I'm gonna start with really soft colors to begin with, and then I'll start bringing in more intense color. So for example, on this poppy, I'm starting out with more of a orangey coral shade, and then I'll start bringing in some darker reds and browns, and then I'll eventually put some more red back in. So I'm going to turn on some music and speed up the video process so you can see the entire painting. I hope you guys enjoy.
When the piece was completely dry, I sprinkled on some water droplets, kind of flicking them on uh, with the finger, with my fingertips. I just sprayed some water on my palm and then flicked it on. And then I used a paper towel to press down and absorb that water and it pulls up some of that color and it leaves a really fun texture behind. I'm gonna dry this and then I'm going to take a white gel pen and add in some little dots of color. I was watching a video from Kelly Latavola last week and she did this on some watercolor flowers and I thought that is brilliant. It makes it look so whimsical. So I wanted to try it myself today. So thank you Kelly for the idea. I'm now, I'm now gonna take my circle die. This is from the nested circles die set from Simon. And I just cut out that painting. Then I trim down my grating. The last thing to do is to prep my card base. I'm using some Nina Solar White uh, 110 pound cardstock and I've squared that at five and a half to create a top folding card. And I want the fold there because it's going to guide me in doing some embossing. So I've got this embossing folder from We Are Memory Keepers. This is from the Geometric set. And I'm going to spray my cardstock just a very light mist before running it through my Big Shot machine. By spraying it, it softens the fibers in the paper and it allows the embossing folder to emboss the paper without any cracking. For particularly detailed embossing folders like this, this is a great tip when your cardstock keeps cracking and you can't figure out why. Put some foam adhesive on the back of my watercolor piece and then put that on the front of the card more near the top of the card. Then I put some foam adhesive behind my greeting and then press that down onto the front of the card. This card looks pretty simple when it's all finished, but I had a lot of fun painting with all of those markers. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll be back very soon with another card video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>